Hey, hey, mm. <sighs> really rude. Hey, hey, how's it going? If you're new here, my name is Jan and I love makeup. And if you're not new, thanks for coming back. I really appreciate you. Today's video is all about the products that I just can't stop reaching for. Things that I'm really, really liking, using every day or many, many days a week. Excited to use it or just know that it's gonna be good. And so I thought I would cobble it all together and put together a video for you. Maybe you need some of these things. Maybe you already have some of these things. Let me know in the comment section. I'd love to talk about it with you. If you're not subscribed to my channel already, now's a great time to do that. I upload four videos a week, Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And I would love for you to join us here. All right, we're gonna get into it right now. I'm about to have a very naked face. Brace yourself. Okay. You're all zoomed in and we are ready to go. Ignore my lips. I'm test driving some new lip stuff this morning and so far I think I like it. I'll update you when I know for sure. But I did on top of that just throw on some of my Too Faced lip plumping gloss, so, which I pretty much do every time I do my makeup. So let's just jump right into it. We're gonna start with foundation and the one I can't stop reaching for is this Lisa Eldridge Seamless Skin Foundation. I just love, love, love this foundation so much. I ordered one of the sample cards because I'm going to want this in a darker shade. Sadly, I won't have it for the cruise, so that's a bummer, but I really love this foundation. Pretty sure it's the best foundation to exist. <laughs> My favorite way to apply this is with a poof. And so the only one I have clean right now is the Tati Beauty Blendiful. So that's what I'm gonna use. And I'm just gonna get this blended all over my face. And then I'll come back on and we'll talk about concealers because weirdly I have two. Foundation is on. I really think my favorite way to wear this is really sheared out. I just like how it kind of evens out my skin and it looks like there is nothing on my skin. Up close, it just looks like my skin is in really good shape. So I did try this the other day um, a bit heavier with more coverage and I really liked that too. I think that's why I love this foundation so much. It looks amazing on the skin no matter how you apply it. Like I said, I believe fingers is best, but I'm not gonna do that. So I like using the poof. All right, concealers. I do have two. One is very new and one isn't as new. I got the new, new one in the wrong shade and that is the new KVD concealer. I really think I like this. I've only used it three or four times, so I'm not 100% sure. And the other one is the Maybelline Superstay. The KVD one, like I said, is just too light. So I'm gonna mix the two today. Once I figure out if I really do like this, I'm probably gonna buy another shade because I think I like it a lot. So we're just gonna mix today and make it work. So I'm gonna mostly put it on the inner corner where I want extra brightness. A little on my nose because this isn't a super hydrating concealer. I think it's really good for where I get oily. I think this is still working it out, but so far that's what I've come up with. And then I'm gonna use the Maybelline everywhere else. I think I'm just gonna use the Poof to blend this out too. I haven't figured out my favorite way to blend these concealers. So I'm kind of just taste testing a bunch of different ways to do it. It's just, it's too light. But the formula, I think, is really, really good. I may even try it. Maybe I'll try it today as my eyeshadow base. I have been reaching for the MAC Paint Pot and the Gerard Cosmetics Clean Canvas. I like that one so much. I've said it before, I'll probably say it a thousand times, I'm 44, so my under eyes aren't great. I don't set them with a powder as a rule. 
because it can get kind of nasty. All right. I'm, I mean, I'm super bright under my eyes, but I think that once everything is on and blended, my face is done, it will look okay. We'll find out. If you don't have oily skin, you wouldn't necessarily have to set the Lisa Eldridge foundation. I like to set it just because I know it's gonna last that much longer if I do. So that's what I do. So I'm gonna start next to my nose where if we're quoting Lisa Eldridge, the ugly shine happens. It doesn't take a lot of powder. Like I don't have to go super crazy with it to make it last. And most days I do touch up with a little bit of powder depending on how long I need my makeup to last that particular day. I did drag the foundation down my neck because my neck is super white. So I'm just gonna put a little powder there too. So for powder, it's the Nikia Joy Cosmetics um, Velvet Finishing Powder. This is the best stuff there is, in my opinion. I love it so much. For contour, I'm gonna use my Kevin and Kawan The Sculpting Powder in the shade Medium. This is hands down my most favorite contour ever. Since I discovered this, I haven't wanted to stop using it. It's so, so perfect for me, I think. I like the effect I get with it. I'm hoping it still works when I'm very tan. And I'm hoping I can make these brushes work. I am foolishly washing all of my brushes right this very as we speak in. They are all hanging out in a nice little bath of warm, soapy water. Just the brush end, not the handles. I don't like all the way in, just a little bit. So I'm <laughs> drawing a different brush today, but I think that works. This is that Essence Coffee Highlighting Brush. Uh, perhaps this is now my new contouring brush. That's the best thing about brushes, man oh man. They can suggest how to use them, and that helps for sure, especially if you're not entirely sure what you're doing. But once you figure out your face and what brushes work for what products, you can use any brush you want for any product you want. It's so good. Literally all the brushes that I use every single day are dirty and being washed. So different brushes today. And the bronzer that I cannot stop reaching for that I know 100% for sure is coming with me on this trip, along with my Nikia Joy powder and the Kevin Aquan, they're not staying home, is the uh, Jouer Medium to Deep Bronze Duo, Sunkissed and Sunset. The Sunkissed shade, which is the light one, work right? Yeah, Sunkissed <laughs> works for me now as pale as I am. And the Sunset shade will work when I am actually tan. So I can bring one bronzer with me on this trip and it will work for the entire duration. I tan really easily, really fast. So for the length of time we're gonna be gone, my skin is gonna change drastically. Not on my face because sunscreen and hats and whatever I can manage, but um, my body tans. And we of course use sunscreen like it's our job but even with the sunscreen I still tan so it's just awesome to know that I can bring this one bronzer duo with me and it will work for the duration of our vacation and for blush I have been reaching for this Danessa Myricks Beauty Dewy Cheek and Lip Palette as often as I can like I just want to use it all the time and we have the shades Croquette, Sweet Cheeks, XOXO, and Tease. I love all of these shades so much. Of course, I'm always drawn to the orangey ones. I haven't used Tease yet, just to swatch it, so 
we're gonna try tees today. And I'm gonna use the brush I used for bronzer because I'm trying not to dirty all my brushes. Oh, whoop, since I am washing, what the frilly heck did I do? Give me just a second to blend this out. Boy, howdy. We're gonna go in a little more gently on this side. <laughs> I do really love these blushes. I Even the shade, which I'm just using really for the first time. They're so good and pigmented. And they look, they look dewy. This is over powder. I've done all the things and it doesn't disturb anything underneath it. And after a few minutes, like to touch it, it doesn't feel tacky, it doesn't transfer. But when I go over it with my highlight, it feels like it might be catching on the highlight brush a little bit. It's very odd, but I'm a huge fan. I have not used this as a lip product. I don't think I ever will. And that's just not my idea of a good time. But look at that, so pretty. And I've really been liking taking it on the outer corner of my eye, kind of underneath a little bit. I don't know, I just like it. Now I'm just gonna buff over the usual spots with my Dior powder, no powder, and this ginormous Lunar Beauty LBF1. I used this the other day for just setting powder, so I'm gonna use it today for buffing powder. I usually like a much smaller brush for this particular game, but this is gonna work today. It's already been used. I have to wash, dry, and pack brushes, so trying not to destroy all of my brushes. Now for highlight, we're gonna use this Lunar Beauty LBF number six. I really, I mean, this isn't like my most favorite highlight ever, but I bought it. <laughs> she was expensive, so I'm gonna use it, and I do really like it, and I have been reaching for it a fair amount, uh, not necessarily as the only highlight, but like a topper, and it is the Pat McGrath Labs Divine Glow Highlighter. This <laughs> says use without caution. This was part of the Bridgerton collection, and I love Bridgerton. I thought that was such a fantastic show, so I bought the collection. And this, I mean, it is really, really pretty. I do think it's more of a gentle highlight, but it's really pretty. I always use the Ulta Beauty Ultra Slim Brow Pencil in the shade Dark Brown to put on my little freckles or my mole, whatever you want to call them. Just those two. And I just gently brush over them with the brush I used for my Dior powder. I can't really hide them, so I just bring them back. Now for brows, I have been using nonstop this L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer in the shade Dark Brunette. I use this every single day for my eyebrows. So I'm going to quickly do those and I'll be right back. Okay, brow pencils on. In the mirror, they look like they could be related maybe distantly. I never know what they actually look like until I'm editing a video and then it's like, oh, wow, you could have done that better. But it is what it is. Related or not, that's what I've got on my face. <laughs> and I have been reaching for the e.l.f. Brow Wow again. I bought a new one. No, Wow Brow. I bought a new one to replace the one I used up quite a while ago. And I had been using the Maybelline Fast Sculpt Brow Gel, which I really, really, really love. It's so good. It, it is a bit fussier, I think, than this one, just to get on and whatever. And look, I just got it all over my brow, under my brow. But this one is usually <laughs> no muss, no fuss. Boy, howdy. Uh, so I do really love it. Just, you know, be a little bit more careful than I am. That will dry and I'll flick it off with a Q-tip, no problem. I'm just gonna use a Q-tip. I keep this one on my desk for this purpose to flick off um, any brow gel or mascara 
that I happen to smear all over my face comes right off. Two seconds. If I were to do my eyes, I would finish up with my Rare Beauty Mascara. I love this so much. This is my second mini tube. I finally broke down and bought a full size uh, to take with me on our vacation because this isn't going to last me <laughs> the entire time. Uh, love this mascara so so much. So I think I'm going to wrap this video up here. I am going to do a second look today uh, for a throwback Thursday look for another video. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did give it a thumbs up, if you didn't give it a thumbs down, I seriously appreciate you hanging out with me today. Be good and remember to be kind to you.